What's going on, everyone? This bullet hanging out at the shop. Uh, part two of the revival on the uh, Monte Carlo. Uh, trying to cut this stuff down around it and uh, put some tires all the way around it and uh, clean it all off. It took me about two hours to clean off the hood. I'm surprised it has a hood left, but it's got a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I tried to trim these branches and all these vines. Move all this stuff and junk around it. All this stuff was on the hood. You remember, if you've seen in the first video, it was nasty. But, uh, and it took me like four hours to find the keys, but I finally found them. So hopefully we'll uh, get this thing out the hole. I'm going to attempt to do it with a uh, chain here to the back of the old uh, F-150 and uh, go from there. All right, y'all hang on and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, everybody, we got it pulled out of the hole there. And it surprisingly went pretty easy. But uh, I had to uh, stop because I can't turn both uh, steering wheels at the same time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll uh, do just a little bit more on uh, getting it broke loose at the steering wheel and uh, clean out around it so I can get it broke loose and and uh, go from there but uh, yeah all in all I did lubricate this hinge on this door earlier got it where it'll open and shut opens and shuts real good now and uh sprayed a little uh, lubricant on the uh, hood and the hinges and stuff. I'm going to have to set you down a minute because I got to open this hood. Alright. But yep. Cut the hood where it'll open. And that is the old 454. He's in bad shape. Looks like the squirrels had a party up under the hood of it. Yeah. Yep. We'll probably end up going through this whole engine completely all over again. And uh, transmission, brakes, everything. You know the deal on all that. That's just common stuff that's got to be done when they set up. But this one's in... Uh, Unfortunately, it's been neglected pretty bad, so it'll uh, take some time, but we'll get it. We'll get it right. Yeah. Got the, uh, uh, let's see. Got the old big block in it with the old school fin valve covers and everything. Yep. I had a guy tell me that the vial covers is worth like $600 on this thing alone. That's pretty neat. 
Good night, guys. I'll, uh, I'll get back with you. Just wanted to bring you up to date. I'll get this thing around to the front of the shop. And uh, we'll go from there. And uh, I appreciate it. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, and give me that big old thumbs up. Help motivate me to keep this thing going. Let's make this project real. All right. Later.